Today I'm going to show you guys how to get poofy roots under control. I know the struggle, I have been there, and I have something so, so important to share with you that is going to be key to helping you get control of those poofy roots. This is my hair before. Um, it needs a really good wash, a really good detoxing because the last product that I had in it was the Dew Mousse Def and I did not love it at all. I still feel the residue. It's been everywhere all over my phone. I don't recommend, like I don't like it at all. Um, at least not for my hair type. I just, I have a thing about products leaving residue and especially when it's on my glasses, then I know it's on my skin and I cannot. So. Yeah, I need to detox my hair really well. I'm gonna clarify, condition, do all the things, and I'll show you guys my process. I'm at my salon right now because that's just the most comfortable place for me to wash my hair sometimes. It's easiest, and I have all the space here, so I'll show you guys how I do it myself at, at the salon. I'm back now. I just washed my hair, detoxed it, and now it's just wet. I put it up in a microfiber towel, so it's kind of, you know, taking a little bit more of the water out. My hair, I would say it holds a lot of water, but at the same time, like it dries up somewhat fast if I have nothing in it. Anyway, this is my hair, freshly washed. I rinsed all the conditioner out and there's nothing in it right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off and section my hair. I always start at the bottom. So I'm gonna section it off. And I'm gonna clip this top section off. This is really important, keeping clean sections so that we know what we're working on and what we haven't worked on. I am using Tangle Teaser brush is so pretty. I love it so much. I've had these brushes in the salon for years now. This one is actually a bigger one than the one that they have at Ulta. The one at Ulta is a little bit smaller. So I get these directly from them on purpose because I feel like we need the bigger ones since we have big curly hair coming through here. The first product that I'm gonna be using is the Innersense I Create Volume. It is my absolute favorite product. I use this all the time. I'm gonna take like half a pump of it and start smoothing it through my bottom section here. I smooth it through with my fingers and then I go right back with a brush. I'm making sure that there's even product distribution. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on the other side here. And so I'm just kind of like pulling it toward the front as I do this, smoothing it really well with my fingers. I could get away with just doing this with my fingers just from practice and kind of knowing what my hair is supposed to feel like. But I almost always go back with a brush because I feel like it really helps to clump the curls together and evenly distribute that product. So I'm brushing it again, and this is what it looks like from the back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take another section. I'm gonna split this section in half, okay? And I'm gonna start applying my product here look at how like my hair just it is it's pretty coarse like this dryness that you see I know that you know people always say that their hair is dry but this is more like a coarse hair situation okay so coarse hair is more wiry so that's why if you look close you can kind of see like my ends 
they look really split but they're not split like I cut my hair regularly I don't straighten it my texture is coarse so it's a more wiry okay so on that spectrum of like different textures so we're talking like silky versus cotton versus wool my hair is feels more like wool in these areas and that's just natural that's genetic not everyone's hair is silky soft now my curls underneath they're a bit softer than the rest of my hair like right up in here in the middle up to the top it's coarser so it does feel more wiry another way for you guys to kind of understand what i mean by that is when people start to get grays their hair is more wiry it's coarser strands all of a sudden sometimes for them and it's a big change and they're like oh my gosh like what do i do my hair is so wiry i can't tame it and so um you know my hair is not that wiry but it is on that spectrum of coarseness so you know that's just a little example for you guys to kind of understand what i mean when i say that my hair is coarse it's a bit wiry so sometimes those strands they don't want to cooperate and lay down even if i use all the different products out there i have high quality i have all sorts of products that i've tried through the years and this one seems to give me like the most consistent control and the best results in my opinion so so yeah <laughs> so i'm working on the other side now I'm brushing it first. I love to brush it first. Make sure that there's no tangles. I'm going to take my eye create volume, smoothing it through really, really well. All the way from roots down to the tips. So want to make sure that we are smoothing it all the way. I'm kind of like roping it. This will help to give you more control of coarse strands. But then it's like, wait a minute, aren't you not supposed to brush out curly hair? Isn't this pulling out your curl? Yes, but I'm going to go right back and I'm going to scrunch it after I get all my products through it. So I'm not too worried about it right now. I like to just scrunch it at the end, but right now the priority is that we get the product evenly distributed through it. I'm gonna show you guys closer up so you can see how my hair is looking and behaving. And you'll see that there's still some frizziness or, you know, like there are some coarser areas that no matter what I do and what I put on it, it just won't tame. But I can get it to lay down and get controlled a little bit more. So I'm gonna show you guys how to control the poofy roots. I actually have poofy roots everywhere like they're in the back here too and so I don't really worry about the back though I just leave it but the front I do because nobody sees this right here and I don't like plastering my hair with a bunch of products especially my roots and my scalp so I'll show you guys up here how I address those poofy roots I'm gonna move on to the next section Moving on to this next section so I'm gonna do this one right here I'm gonna brush it section right here I'm gonna separate it a little bit more I just love to see my layers I love to have big full hair and so the smaller the sections are going up the more volume I'm gonna get so today I'm not using my bounce curl brush because I just wanted to use this really pretty brush um one thing that i don't really love about the bounce curl one is that it's not a very good detangler so this one does it all though it's a good detangler i can use it to style too so i like this one i finished with this front section now i'm gonna move on to this next one right here right next to it raking that product through brushing it next 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 so my hair it's dried up quite a bit up here it's it's pretty dried out right so i'm gonna go through i'm gonna pull my products through 
going through and brushing the products in are like a non-negotiable like there's just no way around it when you have a lot of hair and coarse hair like me so i have both highly dense hair and my strands are coarse and so they need to be smoothed down and that happens with your fingers and your hands as you work your products in it happens with your brush smoothing it in i do both but if you do this well enough then you won't have to do it every day you won't have to re-wet your hair every day you know so my curls definitely last me a good few days okay so i'm kind of at like the halfway point with my hair and so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put some of the i create lift foam love this stuff it's very lightweight but if you want to know the secret to controlling poofy roots it's using a water-based product why because sometimes those poofy roots right they reject your water they don't want to absorb your products very well so when you use a product that's already water-based hear that this is water-based if I open this and I show you guys it's gonna pour out like a liquid so when you use a product like this you'll see it's gonna help lay down those coarse areas my ends, the areas that don't seem to want to lay down with my other products, the foams will do it. I'll show you when I get to the top a little closer so you can see the wonders of it. Every time I do it for a client, and I use different foams, but anytime I do it and I show them up front, they're like, oh my gosh, like that was like magic. Like they could see it controlling the poofiness at the roots right before their eyes when they use it so yeah there's different foams that you can use foam mousse it's, it's similar the same kind of depending on the mousse that you get um are there different qualities do the different qualities matter yeah sometimes you know like i just used a um, foam for my last wash day and i did not like the residue that it left on my hair all right so now we're at the top I'm gonna do this section right here. Let me show you guys up close. My hair is all, it's still a little damp, but it's definitely got a lot of that like coarseness to it, that like wet frizz that people call it. It's not wet frizz, it's just coarse strands. All right, next section. See how it's all like dried up here? It's all like dried up here on the ends. It's dried all throughout, kind of, sort of, but I don't re-wet my hair. I know that people say you should be styling your hair soaking wet, but I don't see how that's going to help me. I see how it will dilute my products more, and I need my products to work like 100% at their full capacity. I have found in the past, and it depends on your products that you're using, but I found that re-wetting will just dilute your products sometimes and these in particular i don't feel like you need to re-wet your hair for if you just put it in the hair and you brush it through it's going to hydrate it so i find that sometimes if you're re-wetting it you might be diluting your products yeah i just take some more products and i put it through like that dryness it doesn't intimidate me and it doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna use a good amount of product and smooth it through. So it looks much, much better here. See those poofy roots right here? It's actually coarse strands right up in here. All throughout here I have it too. Let me, I have to do this one and putting some of that foam at my roots here because otherwise they're wild 
and they will not lay down with just my eye create volume. This whole top section here, I do it while my hair is flipped forward. Two sections at a time, I'm gonna throw them back once I finish with them. Taking some of that eye create volume, smoothing it through as much as I can. And then I'm taking my brush and I'm brushing it through and sending it back. I'm not worried that it's kind of brushing out my curls. I will scrunch my hair after. But you can see in here, this area right here at my roots, like even though I put the eye create volume, my roots are still poofy right here. Like they're still, you know, frizzy as people would call it. It's because I have coarser foam. Look at what happens when I put that foam right up here. You can see how it kind of lays down a little bit more. I smooth it down and then I scrunch. Smooth and scrunch a little bit because I want more curl. All right, moving on to this top section here. I'm gonna take another section, and do the same thing. It takes a little bit of the eye create volume since my sections are getting smaller. Here we go again, look at my roots. Look at my roots, they're so poofy right up in here. So a little bit of that foam and put it on the roots of all of these back here. Here we go. I'm gonna take this section. I'm gonna brush through it, smoothing it through. I mean, all of this is a part of controlling those poofy roots. Okay, to control that, watch the wonders of foam. Okay, I'm literally gonna smooth in that foam all throughout the root area and look at how nice it's laying down trust me it's gonna work try it out and let me know how it works for you but yes foam at the root area or really whatever area seems to not want to lay down if you have those coarser strands try out a foam and let me know how it goes there's a few different foams that I like. This one's my favorite, but I'll link a few others that I've liked in the past. It's gonna depend on what styling products you're using. Like, not all foams are gonna work the same. Not all foams are gonna work well with your chosen cream or gel that you use, but that's gonna take some exploring. And all I can say is that I love my inner sense foam. It works well for my hair and for a lot of my clients. Another one that I like is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Foam. That one's nice too. Oof! Look at these ends. They are so frizzy. <laughs> it's the coarseness, okay? It's my coarse strands. Y'all saw my process. Y'all saw I went in sections. I brushed it through. I smoothed and roped through this product. So I usually have to go back and I have to make sure that I put enough foam at my roots and I go back and I put foam on my ends. This is so important to go back and put foam wherever you see there is some frizzy coarser areas no matter what like when you have coarser strands like you can try to smooth it down as much as you want you're probably going to still have a little bit of you know imperfection there but curly hair is not perfect so i wouldn't expect it to look silky soft or feel soft and look perfect like 
we do our best we use products that give us hydration we use products that are going to help smooth it and give it the definition that we're looking for but the reality is is that our hair is our hair it behaves that way and it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it like i made the mistake and i thought that my hair was damaged for a long time but it wasn't and i know a lot of clients come in and they're like please help me my hair is so dry and brittle do i need to chop it all off and i'm like let me take a look and after evaluating i'm like you haven't straightened your hair in years you don't color it you wear your hair curly 24 7 you take good care of it but yet you feel like something's wrong with it and like you need to cut it off i'm like no like your hair just naturally is a coarser texture so it's never gonna feel like silky soft baby hair you know like we can get it to look as best we can but you know your hair might just feel like wool your hair might not feel like silk you know so um moisture and and like hydration it's not necessarily a feeling sometimes people think well if my hair is shiny then it's moisturized but that's not necessarily the case I'm gonna share another video with you guys just going more into detail about like coarse hair and the differences and what I've seen through the years. I have some photos I can attach for you guys to understand it more too. I'm still putting in some of the inner scent foam just because I feel like you can never put too much like I love their foam so much it's like my absolute favorite all right so now I'm going to just scrunch everything scrunch 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 the other thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that my hair is parted where I want it to dry and I would say that it is I want my hair to go that way and that's it so I'm gonna rinse my hands and I'm gonna diffuse my hair and I'll show you guys my results I wanted to show you guys one more thing look at my hair when I'm done sailing it like look really close at it okay I'm not sure if you guys can see I hope so but I still have quite a bit of those coarser strands sticking out I just can't run from it if you look closely yep this is my hair coarse strands and all in here look at that you see up close it is not perfect my hair is not perfect at all it has quite a bit of those coarse strands all throughout but i think that i have a routine that gives me like my best curl and these are my results this is my hair fully dried it has a beautiful cast on it i love it this is like my favorite combo i've been using it for years i'm gonna be exploring new products soon as i've been doing here and there recently i'll let you guys know how i like them because i'm always open to finding other products that work well My hair has a lot of control. I like it to be controlled but flexible the first few days. That way it can last me at least four days. Okay, so this is my hair up close, like around my roots. So if you look up closely, like you can see that there's some frizziness. It's again, not frizz. It's, and they're much harder. They're more wiry and they just, they don't cooperate and behave and i just embrace it like you really wouldn't be able to see it um from a distance like this is just something that i know happens with my hair and a lot of my clients hair but the foam still helps and makes a big difference at controlling it quite a bit um, you can try to smooth it down with like a really super strong hold gel but i don't want my hair to be plastered down so i I like the way my hair turns out with this it's a good enough flexible hold for me and gives me enough control to where I like the way it looks so all of the product that I put in my hair today that's all I do so I don't reapply product day to day this is it 
this is gonna be my next few days worth of products i don't refresh usually and if i do which is very rare i would just use a foam once again on whatever poofy areas that i might have thank you guys for watching i hope that this was helpful subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this leave me comments of other things that you want me to talk about or share about 